Uh, welcome to this short GCSE maths video on how to do uh, constructions with a compass. Um, it should only take a couple of minutes to run through the ones you need for GCSE. First thing you need to be able to do is to bisect a line. Bisect just means divide equally into two. You need to be able to bisect an angle and you need to be able to construct an equilateral triangle. So let's have a look at the first one of these. Bisecting a line, in your exam question you typically get given a piece of line. The ends might be lettered like this one is, AB. So take your compass, place it on one end of the line and open it to beyond halfway. Exactly where it doesn't matter so much but it needs to go past half the length of the line which you can judge by eye. Then I'm going to draw an arc like that. Take your compass to the other end of the line and it's very important that you keep the compass opening exactly the same as it was for the first arc that you drew. Then I'll do uh, an intersecting arc like that. That's why the compass needed to be open beyond halfway to make sure that these two arcs crossed over. Now I can shift my compass. Then with your pencil and ruler you will draw a straight line through the intersection points of the arcs. When the examiners mark your answer to this question they'll be looking for all the marks that you see there. The two arcs plus the line straight through the middle. So I've now cut the line AB exactly in half without measuring it. Next we're going to look at how to bisect an angle. So again I'm going to take my compass place it on the um, point of the angle, uh, open it up. How far doesn't particularly matter. I just need to be able to draw an arc that goes through both lines of the angle. I could have drawn it all the way through actually, doesn't matter. So I can do that. Then Put your compass point on one of these intersection points and I'm going to draw an arc in the mouth of the angle like that. Then with the same compass opening I'm going to put my point on the other intersection point and draw an arc like that. It's important that these two arcs here cross. Now I'm done with the compass so take your pencil and your ruler and put your pencil point on the point of the angle and draw a straight line that goes through where those arcs cross that angle has now been divided equally into two without measuring it with a protractor. And again, when this question is being marked, those arcs and that line, those are all the markings that the examiner is looking for. Shows you actually done it um, using the compass method. Final one I want to show you is making an equilateral triangle. So take the compass and you want to open your, oh, that didn't work so well did it? I need a shorter line for my example. So I'm not going to restart the video, I'm just going to shorten my line. There we go. So. Open your compass, 
so that it matches the length of your line like so and then draw an arc above the line like so and then with the same compass opening I need to draw an arc that intersects with the first arc now I'm done with the compass so if you take your pencil and your ruler and from one end of the line draw a line to the arc intersection like so and then from the other end of the line do exactly the same thing yeah we've now created uh, an equilateral triangle so these angles will be 60 60 60 and we've done that without measuring them with a protractor if any of you are doubtful about this you can always take a protractor and double check so let's put our protractor there and if you look you can see we've got a perfect 60 degree angle at A and if I slide that over there I can see that I've got a perfect 60 degree angle at B so that's it those are the three constructions that you need for your GCSE maths thank you for watching